Warning output in progress. Coin may be reduced. Whatever. Sorry, we're a little bit late getting started. Been a hectic week around here. My daughter's been homesick from school for seven days. Gary's been here keeping things rolling. So I rushed in here last minute, try to help him get rolling. So we're gonna uh, get right to the FAA wings thing. So it's gonna be about probably 40 minutes of going through, Gary going through the presentation. He's been working on this for two months. This is a big deal. We're really excited about it. This is probably, we have more time and effort in this than any other feature we've ever added for helicopter online ground school. So, you know, remember this is the beginning stages as we always say with anything new we put out, but so far everything looks good. Gary's gonna go through the presentation, go ahead and put your questions and we'll get to the questions at the end because of course a question that you may have, he may cover later in the presentation. So we'll go through Gary's presentation, we'll keep track of your comments, we'll come back and uh, cover everything. So. There's just two of us here today. Courtney's normally here, and she was here, and she was sick, so we sent her home. So Gary and I are going to be doing this, so bear with us as we monitor comments. Let us know. I'm going to check here real quick and make sure that audio and video is working. We think it is, but we had a little trouble getting things going. So if you're here, as always, let us know where you are, who you are, whether you're brand new or been here before. So I am going to go ahead and get started with Gary now. I'm going to go over to his camera, and we'll keep track of the questions. I'll be on uh, answering some questions as we go. I'm going to keep track of them for Gary and just put them in a big long list and I'll answer what I can as, as long as we go. But Gary is the expert with this because he spent all the time with the FAA, talking to his FAA contacts, setting it up, working on the testing. So Gary has all the details. There's things that he can answer for you that I can't yet because I'm going to be learning today just like you. I don't know that much about the WINGS program. I know it's, it's from what I know, it's, there's definitely a benefit to having it or we wouldn't have went through the time and effort. So I'm going to be learning today as Gary is going through this, I'm going to be learning as well. All right. So I'm going to get that ready to go. So we're going to go over to Gary and I'll be over on the other computer monitoring comments as soon as I get him rolling, make sure he's ready to go. So leave your comments and uh, we'll get to him a little bit. So we're going to go over to Gary now. Okay, welcome back, and I am Gary Cleveland at HelicopterGround.com. We will be going through some of the things about the FAA WINGS accreditation. I will uh, go through a PowerPoint that I made, giving you the information that I have learned, and I'm sure there is information that I will continue to uh, take in and learn as we work through this new process. Uh, the WINGS program is fairly new to us. We only started working on becoming a online course provider for WINGS credit uh, in August and we have achieved that. We are listed on the FAA WINGS site as an online course provider. So having uh, achieved this for our members, I did put this PowerPoint together and let's run through it real quick. If you get questions, feel free to put them in the comments down below and we will interact and try and answer these questions. I cannot promise you that I will have all the answers, but I will do my best and if I don't have the answers, I will get them, uh, like any good CFI should. Admit you're wrong or admit you don't know and, and find the answer and learn together. So let's move through this PowerPoint real quick.
The WEANS pilot proficiency program is based on the premise that pilots who maintain currency and proficiency in the basics of flight will enjoy a safer and more stress-free flying experience. Requirements for each aircraft category and class include specific subjects and flight maneuvers. The WINGS program consists of learning activities and flight tasks selected to address the documented causes of aircraft accidents. You select the category and class of aircraft in which you wish to receive training and in which you wish to demonstrate your flight proficiency to applicable standards. To ensure you receive a well-rounded learning experience, only certain activities fulfill specific credit requirements. All pilots holding a U.S. pilot certificate may participate in the WINGS program. Student pilots are encouraged to participate in the WINGS program. They will receive Phase 1 at the basic level upon satisfactory completion of their private pilot practical test and completion of an online course on aeronautical decision making. Note that student pilots will initially register on FAAsafety.gov as a non-airman. There are three basic levels to the WINGS program. You have basic, you have advanced, and you have master. Basic level is designed for those pilots who want to establish a recurrent training program that will provide them a higher level of proficiency than merely preparing for a normal flight review as required by 14 CFR 6156. Note that pilots need not accomplish the flight review requirements of 14 CFR Part 61.56 if he or she has satisfactorily completed any phase of the WINGS pilot proficiency program since the beginning of the 24th calendar month before the month in which that pilot acts as a pilot in command. Note this is uh, the terminology that uh, they use in uh, 6156. Uh, they are mirroring it. So basically if you complete the basic phase of the uh, WINGS program uh, it will serve as your uh, flight review. So that's kind of an added bonus there. Advanced and master are more advanced phases for pilots who want a program tailored to specific needs. These phases will allow the pilot and his or her instructor to tailor a portion of the training for these specific needs and in some cases allow for the addition of specialized equipment or flight environment scenarios. To start, create an account on the FAA safety website. And I would just like to mention that uh, before I go through the rest of the slides here, it is my plan at the end, since we have this uh, screen sharing capability, I'm going to just log on to the FAA safety site and uh, leave that up for you to see as I walk through my login process and finding the courses and uh, looking uh, at my own personal uh, checklist for my WINGS phase uh, credits. By navigating and clicking uh, what's called Quick Wings or My Wings, you can begin to find the requirements for your first phase of Wings. The Wings Proficiency Program consists of participation in three knowledge activities, that's where we come in, and three flight activities. We also can uh, provide this service, uh, but many of our uh, members are international or out of state and they probably will, re will receive the flight portion from another CFI and we'll get into that. Any CFI can provide the flight portion. Knowledge activities are displayed in the brown section and you'll see that as we walk through it later here. The three knowledge based activity credits required for each phase may consist of courses and or seminars online or in person. Courses can be completed online at your leisure. Courses almost always have a short test at the end, although note this is not required. Once the test has been passed satisfactorily, the credit is immediately posted on your WINGS page. 
Note that you must use the same email address on the external site as you do on faasafety.gov to get automatic WINGS credit. Here at Helicopter Ground, our integration of testing options is underway. For now, I will have to manually check completion of all videos and then validate the FAA that you have completed the course in which you enrolled in. You must have actually enrolled in the course on the FAA site. Even if you are a paid member and watched all the videos, if you go on the FAA site and enroll in our course there, I can give you credit. So we can actually go back in time and give you credit from even before we were FAA certified. You will not be charged for enrolling if you are already a member of HOGS. It's just a process that the FAA requires that you enroll on their site uh, even though you're already enrolled in our course. Make sure you have clicked complete on all the course videos in our site for the course you are seeking credit for. Just a quick note on that, a lot of people, myself included, uh, as I was using Kenny's helicopterground.com to get my uh, certifications, I would watch the videos and then just go the, to the next and I really didn't uh, think about the uh, complete button underneath each video and uh, I watched them over and over and over and I wasn't really sure what the purpose of the complete button was so I never pushed it and here is uh, where that button comes in handy because you must uh, when we bring you up in our system, you must show as having completed the whole course before we can certify with the FAA uh, that you have completed the course. And the way they want us to do that for now before the testing is up and live is ensuring that you have completed each video. So you can simply go back and click complete on all the videos you've watched to show that you have 100% uh, course completion. If you click that button again, it will go back to incomplete. So, a little side note there for you. Once you click enroll, then the course will show up in your My Wings section and you can check your progress for the given phase there. As you look at courses available, you will see free courses and fee courses in alphabetical order. The ones with a green dot would help complete your phase checklist. If you are enrolled in a course, it will no longer show on the list of courses when you scroll down through them. In addition to the three knowledge activities that you have to complete, three flight activities are also required. You may combine activities in a single day if you wish, and you do not need to enroll in the flight activity part. An activity valued at one credit does not necessarily equal one hour of flight training. Your CFI will decide when you have successfully completed the activity. That flexibility makes the WINGS effort not much more expensive than a standard flight review or less. We know that uh, according to Part 61, a flight review has to be one hour ground, one hour flight. And so what they're saying here is that if you complete this phase, you possibly uh, could have your flight review taken care of maybe uh, less than the money you would have spent for a flight review uh, depending on if you've already spent the money for uh, the ground school such as helicopterground.com and you use that as your ground portion then all you need to do is get the flying part the, the credit, three credits for flying out of the way and you could uh, easily do that within a one hour block and so in the long run you would be saving one hour of uh, ground time to get your flight review if that makes sense hopefully before you schedule a flight with your CFI you may wish to look at the requirements for the activity to complete your phase click on the quick wings link on the home page and print all requirements for the phase of wings you are working on. Any CFI can also go into FAA Safety and print your checklist by searching with the email address you used to set up your account. Flight activities required if the CFI give you credit after the flight 
or flights have been completed. In addition, the CFI must sign your logbook, just like always, and may choose to use the standard phraseology recommended by the WINGS program. And I believe uh, that's exactly what I would do. Uh, if you go on to the instructor uh, portal and go through some of the tutorials on the FAA safety site, they do have a document that kind of uh, walks you through the, uh, the process. Uh, and I believe one of the slides coming up here I talk about uh, the CFI does not even have to be an FAA wings uh, phase program participant. Uh, just by having his credentials as a certified flight instructor, he can go in there without even having a username and password and look you up, print off what you need to get your phase, and provide you the credits after you fly with him. So they've made it very easy. They're not forcing uh, any flight instructor to have one more thing to do uh, you don't have to go set up an account. Probably be a good idea too. They encourage you to complete phases uh, yourself as a flight instructor, just to um, just to possibly be a safer pilot and to be more familiar with uh, their site uh, when you are applying credits for your students. By virtue of holding instructor privileges, any instructor can validate Wings credits. Just as I mentioned, you do not even need an account on FAAsafety.gov to do this for somebody. After flying, return to your WINGS page where you may click on the When Complete Request Credit link to requ request credit from your CFI. If your instructor is going to give you immediate credit, do not use this procedure. So I read on this and there is there is quite a bit more than just what I blurted out in these two slides. Basically, uh, the student, if, if they're familiar with the site, uh, maybe the CFI is not, they can go in and request the credit. And there's even a search option to search for your CFI in the FAA database. And then the FAA will send an email to the CFI to uh, to follow a link and to apply that credit for that flight uh, for that part of the phase. Uh, the other way is if you have a CFI who is familiar with the FAA uh, WINGS site, they uh, can go in there and, and do immediate credit for you. And uh, what, they, what they made mention of is uh, don't do both, uh, one or the other. So that's what they mean by this. Note that all WINGS activities, knowledge and flight, must be completed within a 12-month period to qualify for completion of a phase of WINGS. Completion of a phase of WINGS at the basic level is required at least once every 12 calendar months in order to be awarded a phase at a higher level. When any phase is completed, print the certificate and keep it in your logbook for proof of a flight review. Okay, I'm going to bring up the FAA safety site and we'll check on those comments here in just a second. But I kind of wanted to just kind of log on with you. And so I'll go ahead and share my screen now and you'll still be able to hear me talking. Okay, we're going to use uh, Google Chrome. Any web browser will will work with them and here I'm just going to type in FA safety so you don't even really have to memorize anything I'm gonna click I'm gonna click login here and that's what you would do even if you've never been there before now you can see in front of you on uh, the screen share that I am at the Federal Aviation Administration site, FAA.gov. Over here, where I'm running the arrow, we have login, don't have an account, register, trouble logging in, forgot password. Uh, it's, it's very user friendly. There's been some past years where 
the site was not user friendly and it discouraged a lot of pilots but they really worked at it and made it a nice thing so right now it shows me as a guest and so there's some things we could do here uh, we could navigate through as a guest and learn we could look at things I'm going to log in just for the purpose of demonstrating and I'll put the email address that I used before I worked with Kenny and then I'll type my password in here then I will log in I'll click the login button here and there we are now if we look up here on the right home 9389 yahoo.com is my personal email address and it shows me as an airman we have we have different things here and you can just scroll down through here we can set up your profile you can change your email address which maybe I'll change that to helicopter ground that's the one that I check every day now that I'm full-time with Kenny but I'll look down here here's quick wings button first I'm going to look up here under courses okay so I'm at the top bar here if you see the little hand pointing at courses it makes a drop screen appear and then I'm going to go down and I'm going to click on courses and we can see that it's thinking up here this thing is going round and round and I did notice that uh, even on the computer in my office I'm on a laptop now but it doesn't matter what your source is for Wi-Fi or what computer you're on the site just tends to do that thinking before so don't don't get carried away and click 10 times just uh, if you see it thinking with the little thing going around and around just give it a minute because I just believe there's so much information it takes time to load compared to some of the other sites that you may visit here this shows my courses that I have enrolled in and I have enrolled in a couple courses here just to kind of show you and here I can continue or withdraw it shows that I'm enrolled in certified flight instructor helicopter ground school and note that this is listed under the free category and we will get that change later this week that was a mistake it should be listed under the fee category or the cost category like this you can see I'm enrolled in private helicopter ground school here and I can withdraw or continue and if I withdraw, I've played with this, I, en I enrolled in all four of our courses and then I, with I withdrawed a couple of them so they would show back up on the list for this, for this presentation. Okay, now I'm going, and it, and it tells here for basic wings, this private helicopter ground school training is going to get me one credit for basic knowledge topic one, one credit for basic knowledge topic two, and it shows that I'll still need one credit for basic knowledge topic three and so I can get two of my credits done just by doing the private helicopter ground school and then I could just I could pick a free one up higher on the list that the uh, FAA has available or something like that I am going to eventually post some free training on this site from helicopter online ground school and you will see it down the road it it would just be small stuff but uh, it would get us up higher on the list and it might get you an extra credit or a half credit or something like that to watch you know a quick video on say settling with power or LTE we'll just come up with some short short little training things up there and you know put a test with it and have some free stuff there too so wings courses down here if you can see where my little hand is, I'm going to hover over this. Now, over to the right says AMT courses. That's for mechanics. So we're going to go over here, show wings courses. I'm going to click on that, and boom, it shows all these courses here. And so, without making you dizzy by scrolling too fast here, it really moves when I when I roll the mouse. You, you can see at the top, okay, alphabetical order these are all the free courses you can see their alphabetic order like this one is accident case study everyone's problem by AOPA and this is free so 
we start by looking at alphabetical order on all the free stuff. Then we move on down past all the free stuff and the alphabet starts over again with with the cost stuff. So here the first cost item is sporties and kings, sporties, AOPA, you know some of these people have been on here a little while before we caught up and just a side note we are the only all helicopter provider on here that I can see. A lot of these places have done a lot of airplane videos and they add on a little uh, helicopter package and that's what you get. So the FAA was very excited to have us join because they know that they have very limited resources. In a previous video I know we mentioned that a helicopter inspector who investigates crashes has actually been given access to review our videos so he has kind of a tool belt on something to assign to somebody that's been in an accident before they can get their license back. He was telling me that he uh, had a dynamic rollover with a Bell 47 off of a trailer and he um, he actually was talking to the pilot you know this would be a pilot error not a not a cog belt break or uh, transmission failure or crankshaft in your engine all these things I've been through but um, if you have a an accident that the FAA investigates and it's pilot error it's handled a little different uh, I've never had my license suspended or uh, interrupted for any reason because if it's a mechanical failure it's a mechanical failure and they simply look at how you handled it and if they like how you handled it you're done every situation I've been involved in it's been just a real quick easy thing you know they look at it uh, had a hiller with a transmission go out uh, the rotorway is giving me a ton of problems with uh, a couple cog, cog belts uh, crankshaft braking and um, anyway this helicopter inspector contacted us he said hey I came across your training and I like it and I would like to be able to have access to look through it and possibly assign it when somebody has an accident because he told me about this Bell 47 rollover, dynamic rollover, and the pilot didn't even know what a dynamic rollover was. He just, he needed something to say, you know, hello pilot that's just been involved in this accident. You need to complete this course before I can consider giving you, you know, another check ride and, and putting you back uh, in the air. So uh, having said that, let's go ahead and screen share and talk about that and we're excited the FAA inspector is going through our courses and I'm sure he will assign them down the road, especially now it's so easy you can tell them to go right to FAA safety and enroll in the course and let them know when you're done and, and then uh, you know do the checkout to get your license back. So let's screen share this. Okay, and what we're going to do here, I can see some of these, you know, being alphabetical order, they probably play the game of, you know, starting their course with, you know, with a letter like A or I guess, like here's ours. Now you'll see, if I hover over it, it's going to give me a little course description that pops up there. We told them what to put in that box and we can change it. We can also change the uh, name of the course. What we cannot change is Helicopter Online Ground School. That is more complicated, but it's just a phone call away to change the name. So, in other words, Commercial Pilot Helicopter Ground School here is the name of the course. So this is where it falls in alphabetically. There are some things we can do, and I guess we'll just kind of go on feedback. We could name all our courses start with the word helicopter, and they would all be right together. We could put, you know, advanced commercial pilot helicopter ground school and it'd be at the top of the list so but for now this is what we're going to do I scrolled down just to show you this what it looks like and I purposely unenrolled so it would show up here because if I scroll down through here and look for a private pilot uh, you'll you won't see you won't see it on my list because I'm enrolled in it uh, so I unenrolled in commercial pilot helicopter ground 
I go over here, I can preview it, which, uh, let's click preview. This, in, uh, this appears that I'm enrolled. So let's go, let's go back a screen. I'm just gonna go up here to the back arrow and I'm being very elementary with some of this because I realize that some people get frustrated with computers and maybe don't use them every day. I know people like that in my own circle that uh, really hate the fact that we gotta use computers for everything. So now it, when I hit the back button, this is where people start getting frustrated with computers. It, it didn't just take me back one screen, it took me all the way back here. So now I'm gonna click Show Wings Courses. And we're here again. And I'm gonna go down to the cost. And what I like to do is look over to the right for our, our company name. It's just a little easier for me to spot it. There's the instrument course. Okay, let's look at this one. Let's, and before I just enrolled, I'm clicking preview just to show you what it does and I'm not sure what it's gonna do. Now it's saying we now indicate that you have enrolled in the online course shown above. So when I hit preview, it's acting like I hit enrolled. And so I am not sure why. Let's go back and I know it's gonna jump me all the way back to here. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy with this screen. Okay, now we're back at that page again, and I'm gonna go down and find. Now the preview page, as you see, there was a, let's do it one more time. Here's commercial pilot. And I'm not sure it's why it's giving me this, uh, cause I unenrolled purposely to show you. So. Let's go down to the instrument one. Okay, here's the instrument one. Now, if I click enroll, it's probably gonna give me the same exact message as it did preview. So let's click enroll, and it does. It's giving me the same message no matter which I do. So you can't mess up, just, just click and, and go. So click enroll. You're wanting credits anyway, so this is what you're going to do. You're gonna click and roll like I just did. Now, you read this, it tells you that you've enrolled, and so now it's gonna show up in your, your face, uh, the, you know, the course list, and we'll go through that in a minute. Now, if I click on here, down here at the bottom, I'm gonna click on this. It says, click here to go to this course's site. I click this. Now it says, uh, continue to the site or stay on this page. You just click continue to the site and it'll take you right to uh, helicopter ground. Let's do that. And it opens another screen up here. You can see it, it kept my FAA safety screen open. It's opening up another screen. And I can see that this is our web address, www.helicopterground.com. And it's taking me right to the instrument pilot page. And hopefully this link is up and working. As I said, while that's thinking, uh, let me change cameras. Um, this, this is all very new and the integration is underway. So not everything you know, will be exactly smooth to begin with, but it will get better and I see it's coming up now. So let me share that screen again. The internet is still thinking. Before I bore you with that, I'll just let it think for a minute and continue loading. What it's, it's just loading our, our homepage, Helicopter Online Ground School, and then we'll show that to you. Then we'll go back to the FAA Safety, and I'll click on My Wings, and so we'll get a look at you know, what I need to do to complete my phase. I have not completed any phase of wings. Uh, it is interesting though that when I signed up for my, uh, or I registered for an account at FAA Safety, it showed that I completed um, a course at a helicopter fly-in uh, called Land the Helicopter. And I didn't even know it was accredited 
for uh, Wings credits when I took the course, but I, I remember signing in. It was a free thing. It was a seminar, you know, at a helicopter fly-in, and it was there waiting for me, and boom, it gave me credit for it. Uh, but the credits, you know, they only last for a year, and if you do remember during the presentation, you can get a basic phase every year and use it for your flight review which is every two years unless you're flying a Robinson uh, and have less than um, 50 hours or 200 total helicopter hours uh, you're having to do one every year anyway so uh, there's a good question I just popped the question in my mind um, S-FAR 73 is a whole different animal and that's a question I'm going to pose to FAA safety uh, is can this be a flight review for a Robinson? So that's a good question that I'm going to ask because I'm sure that many of you will want to know the answer to that. So let me share this screen again. Okay, so you can see it's up here, it's, it's trying to load and it's got our logo, Helicopter Online Ground School. This is actually trying to load our site right here and it shows that the instrument course is $49 a month. It shows that you can also click on private pilot, uh, remote pilot, certified flight instructor, commercial. These are all the offers across here and for some reason it's not wanting to completely load this this page. But this is our page and I believe it's it's the internet running a little slow right now with all that we have uh, running off of it currently. Now, so let's close that window and go back here. Okay, so here we are again. This this is me logged in on my FAA safety site, and this is where I clicked to go to uh, to go to helicopter ground, and it would. If I was not a member and I was looking for some helicopter training, I clicked this, it would take to the helicopter ground. Then I'd have to enroll with my credit card or PayPal and pay for the course. And eventually, there'll just be a test at the end. And boom, I get my credits. So let's go back to activities up here. I clicked on activities and we look down here and we can see the things I've completed. I've got one credit for master knowledge towards a master level phase. This was the uh, this was the fly-in that I was talking about. Uh, the date completed was 716 of 2016. So it's still showing up on here even though I cannot uh, count that towards a phase because it's it's outside of of a year. Then up here I took Part 107 Small Unmanned Aircraft Systems a course online, and that was a free course by FAA Safety. There was a test at the end. Anyway, let's go back here to My Wings. Okay, so I'm going over here under Pilots. I'm going down to My Wings. I'm going to click on that. Okay, this is what I was looking for. And again, if you don't like computers, just remember you're not going to mess up here. Anything you do you can undo, you can log out and back in, just click here and there and, and you'll figure it out. So here is my own personal uh, for to get basic wings phase one. It shows here that I can get one credit by completing uh, private pilot helicopter ground school. Shows that I'm enrolled. I can get another credit by completing private pilot ground school. I'm enrolled. And I guess I didn't realize this when I was talking earlier. I've already got the other credit I need by taking that free unmanned aircraft systems course, which is interesting to see that they're counting that towards my basic wings phase one level for my wings phase and this could possibly count as my 
flight reviews. So that, that goes to show you that a lot of the information on the uh, small unmanned aircraft systems is applicable to general aviation uh, and vice versa because it's, it's actually given me a full credit for taking that course and you know I'm halfway there to get a flight review out of this and get my basic wings phase one done. So then we look down to the bottom here. These are the flight activities that I need to do. So I need to go out and fly with Kenny and have him uh, credit me for performance maneuvers. Looks like instrument proficiency check, airport operations. And then I can, this is where we were talking about earlier, when complete request credit. So if I go fly with Kenny and I say, you know, we need to look, look this up, ATP, comma, CMM, apostrophe L, private. So I cannot rattle off exactly what they mean by that, but I'm sure, click here to view details. Okay, so let's do that. So I'm going to click here to, to look at the details. And here we go. We're both looking at this for the first time. From the Commercial Pilot Practical Test Standards for Rotocraft Helicopter and Gyro Plane. So it's going out of the PTS and it's telling it's telling Kenny that you know in order to get this uh, basic credit and advanced credit, it's going to credit me both ways here. It looks like we go down through here: slope operations, rapid deceleration, like quick stop. Straight in auto rotation, 180 auto rotation, power failure at altitude, confined area operation, pinnacle platform operations. So that probably would be getting close to a full hour of flying. Maybe not. Uh, sometimes you know you can combine things like confined area and platform, pinnacle, power failure at altitude. Possibly I could then do a 180 uh, or a straight in with that. So you might be able to move through these things and then get to the next thing. Here's a button here for request credit also. So they've, they've made it real user friendly. So let's try and go back. And I'm, I'm just going to click up here to my wings again instead of hitting the back button. And that seems to work better here. Okay, so then I, kn I know that, okay, I'm going to go fly with Kenny so I, I, I can print off what I just read there. Now it wants... It wants me to have instrument proficiency check also. So let's click on that and see what it wants. Successful completion of an instrument proficiency check in accordance with 14 CFR 61, section 57D, FAR 6157D. We would have to look those up and see exactly what we got to do to go out there and, and get this credit. And, and then I would uh, have him either go on and give me instant credit or I'd click request credit from him. So uh, without boring you anymore, that's basically what we got here. Instructor portal, there's for you uh, flight instructors, you click on that. There's, there's more information that for instructors only. Let's go back to, let's try and go back to the home page here. There's a lot of different ways to get to the same information. In other words, you saw me go up here to pilots. There was some different options when I was logged in, and I just went to my wings. And then another way to get to the same information is quick wings. Just click on quick wings. So play around, get familiar with the site, and you know if you have any problems. I'm here for the members, and that's that's why Kenny pays me is to be here to answer the phone, answer the texts, answer the emails, comments. You have many ways of getting a hold of me to to help you through this. And if I don't have the answer, uh, I have a cell phone number and an office number for um, one of the guys in charge over at FAA Safety, and I can get answers pretty quick. He's been very helpful. His name is Guy Miner. Uh, shout out to you, Guy. Thank you very much for helping us make this, this happen. 
we have software integration going on right now with uh, with a man named Randall, and he is he's just uh, really good with um, all the software stuff, and and he's going to have us all set up with an ability to to have testing at the end of each uh, section, and possibly uh, we're thinking about um, you know a test at the end of the the entire course. So we'll see how that all plays out. But for now, get credit. Get your wings phase done. Log in. Let me know when you've completed all the videos, and I will manually send the credits over as long as you've uh, enrolled in the course. And you'll get your uh, credit for the online provider, and you'll be on your way to your basic phase in the wings program. I guess that's all for now, so we can try and answer some of the questions that are here. All right. Hey, thanks to all of you hanging around. We see 10 likes with like 15 people watching. That's awesome. Thank you for the likes. Hope you enjoyed that. I didn't see any questions pop up other than like the one from Taz. We're, we're gonna, Gary's going to check with the FAA on how to, how to handle like the credit for an R22 or an R44 flight review, right? That's what was in question. Yes. That's how we're going to handle that. So Gary will get that answer for you because all that stuff's covered in ground school, but are they going to want like people to use the R22 or R44 section? Anyway, we'll get an answer on that. So we're going to wrap things up due to the fact of it's just been kind of hectic and I'm a little tired and we've had so much going on that instead of me going on and on, we're going to wrap it up. That is a great explanation, a good start. Again, this video, we're going to leave it here on YouTube. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. If you're new to Helicopter Ground School and new to us, please subscribe to our channel. Continue to like and comment on this video. If you want to become a member, go to helicopterground.com. All kinds of info there. Um, we will keep updating. This Gary's presentation will be edited and also inside the site for Ground School members. And I think we'll just leave it here on YouTube as well. There's no reason to take it down because it's just good free information about what it's all about. A lot of people are emailing Gary and going, hey, I'll, I'll just take my wings credit, please. And he checks and they haven't been through the, all the videos in the site. They don't have an FAA account. But that's okay. People don't know yet. And that's why we did this video is to give you the basic details of what the wings program is all about. So we'll continue to answer these questions. Again, the program's going to change, as we've explained to you. Gary's working on the testing now. So hopefully everybody's happy uh, that we've provided this for you. This is probably one of the biggest things we've done as a feature for our members. To the time and money and effort we have in building this is a pretty big perk for members, um, and we're pretty proud of it. So thanks, everybody, for tuning in today. Make sure to keep liking, subscribing, sharing, all that good stuff. And we will see you in the next video.